have you ever heard of the Great Blue Hole? This sizable underwater sinkhole lies off the coast of Belize, near the center of Lighthouse Reef, a tiny atoll 62 miles from the mainland of Belize City. For decades, scientists, scuba divers, and even snorkelers have cruised the surface waters intending to explore, but none have dared to venture deeper and explore what lies at the bottom. In 2018, a crew from Aquatica submarines decided to face their fears and dive to the bottom of the Great Blue Hole, where they discovered some rather disturbing things. Today's video is about to shock you. From the railway tracks to submerged caves, here are 10 unsettling discoveries in the Deep Blue Hole. Number 10. Tracks For starters, you should know that the Great Blue Hole, also known as the Belize Blue Hole, has been the site of many myths and imagination. What lies at the very bottom has remained a mystery for over decades. The crew's mission for venturing into the depths of this massive project was to create a 3D map of the sinkhole's interior. But diving deep into a place no one has ever dived is quite risky, right? I mean, they were bound to find things unknown to humans whether they like it or not. Erica Bergman, the chief submarine pilot on the project and oceanographer, told CNN Travel that they found odd tracks on the bottom of the sinkhole. The crisscrossing circles were right around the center of the hole and were unable to identify. Considering that the sinkhole's bed is devoid of oxygen, it's unlikely that those tracks were made by living creatures. With no indication of what had made them, it's fair to say the tracks are the relics of a geographical process. It's better than overthinking, right? If you think otherwise, the statement is open to interpretation in the comment section below. Number 9. Movement of Land we know for a fact that how a place was thousands of years earlier wouldn't be the same now, or even thousands of years later, in terms of physical futures. But can land shift positions? Is it possible to find that the United States of America has shifted further west thousands of years later? Well, it might be unsettling, but technically, it's possible due to tectonic plate movements. Those who are in geography classes might understand what I'm talking about. If you weren't, then consider yourself lucky, as I'll briefly explain what I mean. Tectonic plates are broken pieces of Earth's crust and uppermost mantle that may fit together like a puzzle. The scientific theory claims that billions of years ago, the world and all the continents used to be one big land until the tectonic plates started moving and separated them. Well, according to what these scientists found, it appears that the plates are still moving the land. The crew noticed that the stalactites had shifted position from where they were before the sinkhole. We'll talk more about the stalactites later in this list. I wonder what the world will look like millions of years from now. Good thing we have videos and pictures to prove how far apart the continents were. Number 8. Marine Life As the crew started their journey to the bottom of the Great Blue Hole, they found the usual things like reef sharks, giant corals, turtles, etc. It was obvious that marine life was there and thriving. For sea creatures like reef sharks, it wasn't a surprise to see them since they love to swim in the deep dark waters. It was rather unsettling when they pushed 90 meters deep and noticed that life started to vanish. There were no more ocean creatures in sight, and it looked strangely cold and lifeless. Their questions were answered when they found a thick layer of toxic hydrogen sulfide spanning the width of the entire sinkhole like a floating blanket. These creatures didn't swim beyond that because they chose to, but because circumstances couldn't make them. Number 7. Toxic Hydrogen The thick layer of hydrogen sulfide is found around 300 feet deep in the Great Blue Hole. Just as they had predicted, the bottom is completely anoxic, meaning there's not a drop of oxygen below the H2S layer. This is why hammerhead sharks, reef sharks, and all other creatures never swim into the H2S layer. Instead, they always stay just above it. With their diving vessel, Stingray 500, they dived into the acid hoping it wouldn't corrode. This uninhabitable condition caused the discovery of some things found on the base of this large sinkhole. It also gives us a possible reason for how and what the tracks were. It seems the deeper we go into the Great Blue Hole, the more answers we get to this mystery. I'm starting to get the hang of how Nancy Drew felt when solving mysteries. Number 6. Tilted Stalactites We've mentioned stalactites before, and now it's time to dive into more detail. For those who don't know, these are enormous hanging-like structures on a cave's roof formed of calcium salts deposited by dripping water. 
If you've visited caves before, I'm pretty sure you've seen them. Seeing these stalactites deep in the great blue hole proved one thing since water won't drip underwater. It meant that this was once a cave. The crew also noticed that the stalactites were tilted up to 12 degrees. At first, they found this unsettling, but as we've mentioned before, they figured that the moving tectonic plates might have affected them. The presence of stalactites gives clues to the hole's ancient past, which we're now going to talk about. I'm loving how one discovery leads to another. It's like pieces of a puzzle just waiting for us to fix together. Number 5. Collapsed Caves Everything has a beginning and the finding of stalactites helping in figuring out the origins of this mysterious sinkhole. Apart from that, the crew also found enormous caverns near the bottom of the hole. This is evidence scientists were looking for to prove that the sinkhole was once a cave. If the sinkhole was once a huge cave on dry land, how did it come to be? Well, the cave was there during the last ice age and around 14,000 years ago, towards the end of it, the world began to thaw and the sea levels rose. During that time, the sea level was 330 to 660 feet lower than it is now. The caves eventually flooded and collapsed, leaving behind the blue hole we see today. Scientists think that other marine sinkholes like the Dean's Blue Hole in the Bahamas and the Dragon Hole in the South China Sea were probably formed the same way. Number 4. Lost Trash As far as the team is concerned, there's no mythical monster hiding in the depths of the Blue Hole. Phew, you don't know how relieved I'm about that. But sadly, the real monsters facing the ocean are humans and climate change. By humans, I'm talking about the plastics we toss everywhere which end up in the ocean. The crew found a 2-liter Coke bottle and lost GoPro containing some vacation photos. It seems some people did visit this place some time back. Isn't it sad that we humans are always behind some of the bad things happening to our environment? Number 3. Human Remains Now that we know they found a GoPro containing vacation photos, it's evident that humans once visited this place. It's a tourist attraction after all, and we know how curious humans get, so it's no surprise. But did they survive coming out of this blue hole? Your guess was right. Some humans never survive the toxic hydrogen layer. The number of people who lost their lives in this blue hole isn't exactly known, but according to the crew, they found the bodies of two divers who had been lost in the hole. They notified the authorities as soon as they were back on land, but they decided to leave them undisturbed as they looked at peace. I don't know about you, but if any of them were my relative, I would have wanted to retrieve them and give them a proper burial. They also found perished sea creatures and a graveyard of conch shells and hermit crabs that had fallen into the hole and suffocated. Remember the tracks? Now you know who they might have belonged to. Number 2. A light buildup of silt. This is another clue of the past. When they reached down the hole, they found a light buildup of silt on top of the conch graveyard. This could mean two things. One is about the past of the hole while the other one is about the future of the hole. For now, let's talk about the past, and then we can finish our video with the future. After all, the future is just an assumption. When scientists found the buildup of silt, they were able to know all the different hurricanes, storm cycles, and glaciations that have happened. This predicted that around the time of the collapse, there were huge storm cycles that were followed by very significant droughts. Isn't it amazing how one thing can make us know what happened in the past, even if we're not around to witness it? That's simply the beauty of science. Number 1. Waterfalls of Sand Now to the future. Are you ready? The light buildup of silt was nothing but the tip of the iceberg. The team found something that was rather strange at the time but became clearer when they were going back to land. They had discovered a trench between the rock wall and the berm that makes most of the length of the hole. What was odd was that on the northeastern edge, there was no trench. Instead, the entire area was full of sand up to the top of the berm. So why was the eastern edge more filled? The answer was just there. The wind-driven waves pushed sand and all the conches into the trench filling in the hole. This comes to the sad conclusion that the sinkhole won't be around forever to explore. Every day, the waves push waterfalls of sand and conches into it, slowly filling it up like an underwater. Because of this, 
the submarines are planning on going back to examine more of its features so that they can analyze the data gathered and compare them with other marine sinkholes. We hope that by the time the sinkhole fills up, we'll have explored the place and solved all the mysteries within it. But as for now, let's just admire the beauty of this wonderful phenomenon. Until next time, adios.